Welcome to Canvas Projects, a virtual program offering from the Pflugerville Public Library. I'm Meg Miller, an adult services librarian, here with another fun project geared to ages 12 and up for you to complete. Those who registered through the library calendar can pick up their material supply kits, and for everyone else watching, we hope you give these techniques a try. This month's project is bubble wrap trees. Let's start with a look at the supplies being provided. So in our envelopes, um, you are getting an eight by 10 canvas. Um, all of mine were in kits, so I am gonna paint today on a canvas panel, but you are getting um, a standard eight by 10 canvas, as you see here on my example. Um, I also have a flat paintbrush in this kit, your paint palette, some primary colors there, and then the bubble wrap pieces. I did cut two circles since this project idea was um, trees, but then I also threw in a little six by whatever of um, extra bubble wrap that you can use. Um, if you've got scissors, you can cut into fun shapes, or you can just kind of use this to create a cool technique. If trees is not a project that you wanna paint with this because the bubble wrap can really be used for a couple of different types of designs. Um, so you see I'm just using some butcher paper to protect my workspace, um, especially since I'll be painting on a can uh, panel, um, which means it'll be closer to the table. Uh, so we can see from my example here, I've got some background painted um, for the trees. Uh, additionally to what's in the kit, um, you may want to pull out uh, just some water to clean your brush and a paper towel. Um, if you've picked up kits from us before or if you have other paint brushes, you may wanna grab a couple of extra paint brushes that you can use. Um, since I've got some primary colors here, I've got an extra paint palette out where I could mix up another um, color or like with the brown or green, lighten it up with a little bit of the white, that kind of stuff. So I have a palette if I need it. You could also use just a paper plate. Um, and just now I pulled out um, previous canvas project paint palettes that I've got. So this one's got like a little tiny bit left of that shiny green. This one's probably got some um, more white in there and some purple. Same, this one's got like a little bit darker of a shiny green, just a little bit in there that I may grab um, as I'm painting. Uh, one other thing I'll show you for our little circles. Uh, many of yours probably have a Sharpie line. Um, so in order to get that, I just grabbed a little cup that we had here in the lab um, and a Sharpie and kind of traced out my circles on the piece of bubble wrap that I have. Um, I would not recommend a vessel that you use regularly for drinking, as, especially if you're using a Sharpie. You can see I've got some marker on my uh, glass here that I would need to clean up before I did anything else. Another cool kind of look that I saw um, when I was looking at this particular technique is like a floral. So um, kind of hydrangea-y looking plants, that kind of stuff. So for this first part, I'm just gonna give myself some sky. And this is a pretty deep blue. So that is partially why um, in my example, you see I've gotten it kind of lightened up there. That is using white paint. It really depends on the type of project that you really kind of want to have with your final product. So um, you are welcome to mix your paints as you see fit. I'm gonna grab one of my other brushes, bring in some white here. Now I'm just doing this directly on my canvas. Um, you could mix up using uh, an extra, like I said, a plate or um, like a palette if you've got one. These. Uh, I think we might have picked up from the Dollar Tree. And so just bringing that white in there, I'm lightening that sky color and just dry brushing to spread my paint. Flipping over, to grab some of that extra. I really do like this technique. This is about my skill level. I'm sure some of you out there have some amazing techniques. And now I'm just gonna bring a little bit of water in so I can spread that paint a little bit farther. 
kind of lighten it up over here as well. Bring it down. Maybe a little more blue. There we go. Very nice. And I'm doing a fairly light layer because I want to paint over top of it. Um, if you really want to build up your sky with your own um, techniques and, and kind of let it dry before you come back and paint over it, that's also something that you can do. I really like this flat size brush because you get a lot of good coverage while at the same time being able to kind of do some detail if you use the side. All right, so there's some bit of sky for me for this particular painting. All right, let's bring us in some green. And I'm going to go ahead and open all my little paint pots. I gently hold down the bottom piece and pull on the left tab so that I can open it without spilling. And that's from several times of actually spilling paint as I've worked on these particular projects so it kind of built up that skill as I've gone. I hope that anyone who's participated in multiples of our canvas projects have found some of those skills that they've built as we've gone along and found projects where they can combine some of those things. So um, like with this one as I said this particular version that I'm doing here is trees, um, but you can really use that bubble wrap to add texture to different um, types of painting, different uh, projects. We've done pour painting. I would love to see, I might, next time I have a pour painting project, I think I might pull out a little piece of bubble wrap and see what it does to mix the colors together. Just giving myself some basic sky and ground. Now I did choose um, to do this in a portrait. Uh, you could also do this landscape. I tried to cut circles that were fairly small enough so that um, you had enough room in the 8x10 canvas to really um, draw in a couple. So I'm going to just bring a little bit of brown like I did in my example. This is just a little bit of brown added so it almost gives the hint of like a shadow as if so i'm just going to bring some of that in here start from this corner give myself a little shadow area pull my brown in very cool now that we're almost to spring here in central texas so my own yard at home doesn't quite look as brown as that anymore we're just getting those greens coming out, although we're having a bit of a cold snap right now. But by the time this video goes out, we should have warmed back up a little bit. All right, we've got kind of there. That's a pretty good start. So now I can pull to my trees. So at this point, your decision is going to be, um, do you want to sketch out your trunk of the tree first? To kind of build or do you want to come in and um, give your tree tops with your bubble wrap and then kind of build your trunks from there um, I did a little bit of both in my example so just some brown I decided I wanted one guy over here widen that chunk I'll go the width of the brush don't have to worry about it being too straight. Trees in nature are not all straight. And I can come back and build from these later once I get my treetops kind of up there and feeling. Let's give them a little bit of roots down there. Widen the bottom of that tree. That goes a little farther. All right, clean my brush off. So grab your um, bubble wrap. You want the size that the side that has the bubbles on it. So I'm just gonna grab my green and paint across my bubbles here. 
Uh, be prepared. You might get some paint on your hands here if you need to. Um, wear gloves or just kind of be prepared to wash your hands after you're done. I'm not pushing too hard. I'm just kind of trying to drop the paint on there. I'm going to set my brush. Now I'm going to flip it over. Let's go kind of central to this guy. And this circle is pretty good sized. I'm just kind of tapping down. So you can, because I've given you multiples, you could take one and trim it down. All right, and now that is very much just the, the circles of the bubble wrap. You see that? But that's just step one. So our trees are not ultimately gonna look like that. I'm gonna add a little more paint. I'm gonna come right up here, drop that down, pick it up, I'm gonna twist it a little bit, come back down again, push down. So see now there with the bubble wrap going down twice, I'm gonna get that leaves look it's going to fill my tree in I have a little more green for this guy over here and since this particular tree trunk is kind of close to the edge i can even do it where the tree is kind of coming off the side and come down a little ways so that I'm getting that coverage on the tree trunk. Don't want to drop that. Especially not peanut butter side down, as it were. A little bit more paint. I'm getting a little bit of blue on my bubble wrap. I'm not too worried about that. Uh, since this is plastic, uh, you can definitely wipe it off, rinse it. So there's a start to our trees. Set that one aside because I want to add a little bit of color to my tree. Uh, something where maybe it is the, I mean, it, we're almost to spring. So the buds of the tree, the little flowers, or if this was more of a fall, you could find some fun fall colors. I did put um, red and yellow in here. You could mix up an orange. So I am actually putting a little bit of red and a little bit of yellow on this at the same time. Just different areas and a little bit less you see than the green. So that when I put it down, I'm just getting that accent of color. Boom, there. Just that little piece of color. Pushing down, popping up. And I'm going to continue that. Paint over. And the fact that there's now a little bit of green on here actually helps me as it's going and adding paint to the other trees. We get that real nice transfer look. Let's drop down on here. Boom. Oh, that's a lot of red there. Flipping around. Very nice. And you can use different pieces, edges of the bubble wrap to really kind of fill in if you've got some areas where there's a lot of um, the color, the background color sticking through. All right, and because our tree needs, I'm just gonna kind of flatten my brush a little here because I wanna draw in some of the upper branches there. Just a hint everywhere. And then I can come back with my bubble wrap. Kind of hiding that and blending it in to the tree. So that is a real quick look at using bubble wrap as a technique to kind of draw um, and fill in trees or the leaves of trees. So I did grab a piece of, this is just watercolor paper that we've got here. 
because I want to try the look of like the flower. So I'm actually going to take some of my red and blue and mix it up. So what kind of purple I get here. Ooh, this is kind of a mauve lilac. I need a little more red in there. There we go. So I'm just mixing up a color just to give it a little try. I do have some purple from another um, round that I am going to try. So because I used those circles, I have a couple of extra. Let's give this one a try. So I'm going to come in oops, with my purple. Even kind of almost reads a, like a slate blue. It's a really pretty color. And for this, I'm just gonna kind of put it all on. There we go. All right. That's that first. Spin it around. Move it a little bit. Around, move it a little bit. Let's do the second one right here. All right. Ignore my paint splotch. That happens. And now let's take the purple from one of my previous. Come over the top. Started on this guy. You can also move a little bit. That's going to spread, and you're going to really get kind of extra movement and um, your paints really blending together. Where did, here we go. Because the one last one, this one's a, a lot larger area paintbrush. So when I get my I just straight the white paint. And this, um, it's a much lighter brush. I'm trying to very much stay on top of the bubbles. So I can drop. I'm just going to give that a light tap and then pop up. Light tap, pop up. So we get that kind of look in there. And you can always come back with a detail brush and really dial in kind of exactly where you want. Maybe you add an owl in a um, bolt hole to one of your trees. You know, something coming through here. We've got, I opened that purple. I give a little, like, flowers in my grass kind of look there. So we hope you enjoyed this canvas project. Um, as always, we would love to see any pro final product that you create. And we look forward to next month. Thanks for watching.